Hi everyone, it's Ashley Burns from the church and I am so excited to be here again with you today to teach another week's lesson. We have a great one today. We are gonna go ahead and pray first and then we'll get started guys. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this beautiful day that you have blessed us with, Lord. Thank you for just keeping watch over us and protecting us, Lord, during this past week. I pray, Lord, that as we learn today about being little lights in the darkness for you, that you just help us to truly grasp the virtue of integrity today, Lord, and you help us to share that with people in our family and our friends, Lord. I pray that you continue to just help us to be bold and courageous to stand up for the truth, Lord. And I pray that you continue to just guide our steps the rest of the week. In Jesus' name we pray and amen. All right, guys, so let's get started. As I mentioned, we're talking about being lights in the darkness this week, just letting our lights shine for God. And our virtue is integrity. So we'll jump right into what is integrity. This is a great virtue, really, to me, in my heart. This is what the Bible is all about. Integrity is really just doing the right thing, telling the truth and doing it no matter who is there, no matter who's in the room or who can see you doing the right thing. Great example of this so you can kind of understand what I mean. If you were in school, in class, and you were getting ready to take a test and the teacher had to leave the room and the answer key was there on the table and you could look at it. No one would know it was close enough that other students maybe can't see you looking, but you could see it. If we're looking at that, is that doing the right thing to cheat and get some answers? No, it's not the right thing. So to have integrity is to just be honest and truthful and do the right thing no matter who's watching. A great example of that in my home are my, my daughters and maybe jumping on the bed. So that's mommy's rule. We're not gonna jump on the bed. I don't want anybody to get hurt. So if they were to do that when I was not in the room, are they having integrity? Probably not. So we just want to try to always stand up for what's right and speak up for the truth no matter who is there. And with God's help, we sure can do that. Now, we are going to learn about Esther in the Bible today. I know all of the characters really in the Bible at one point or another are going to show that virtue of integrity. But Esther, she is such a light in the darkness for Jesus and for God. So we're going to share her story. I'm going to give you a little bit of background about Esther and then we'll jump right into her story. So who was Esther? She was actually adopted and lived with her adopted father who was also Jewish just like Esther. What does it mean to be Jewish? Jewish just means to be God's chosen people. They were chosen to just share God's word. So how amazing. Little lights in the darkness. Esther and her adopted dad. Esther was beautiful. She was said to have been beautiful. We can't see what she looked like. There weren't cameras or um, iPhones or anything like that back then but it is written that she was just beautiful and lovely. She she loved the Lord and she spoke the truth. So she is, you know, just hanging out with her adopted dad while the king at the time, the Persian king, King Xerxes, was in need of a new wife. So they rounded up a few girls in the in the country and just wanted to kind of see who he, he liked the most, maybe who is the most beautiful. They went un, un, underwent like some training, some treatment. So they got special fancy oils rubbed on them and got their hair done nice for the king. Well, the king ended up falling in love with Esther. He loved her heart, he loved her, and she was beautiful. So she became the queen. God put her in such a position. So the king's right hand man, kind of his helper. This man's name was Haman. He did not really like God and he did not like Jewish people. So he was trying to be a little sneak to the king and really write maybe just a law that would kill or hurt God's chosen people, the Jewish people. So Esther heard about this and it just, it broke her heart. She wanted to speak to the king about this. Well, a long time ago, you could not just go to the king. You had to be called to speak to the king. If you weren't called in by the king, you could run the risk of the king having you kind of banished, sent away, far away, or even put to death. 
if the king did not hold his scepter out to accept speaking to you. So Esther, you know, wanted to speak up and say that this is just not right, that your right hand would want to hurt some of the Jewish people, just like me. So Esther decides that she is just going to do the right thing. She is going to be brave and she's already prayed to God about it. And she is just going to go before the king, King Xerxes, and she is going to tell him the truth. She's going to tell him what the king's right hand is trying to do sneakily behind her, his back. And she does. She invites the king to a couple of dinners and then she tells him what's really going on. And he is just furious. So she was able to save a lot of people's lives, a lot of lives of Jewish people and people that would have been killed under that law if the king would have signed it. So we are just thankful for Esther for standing up, doing the right thing. And you know, God just delights you guys when we walk in truth, when we walk in God's truth, it makes him so happy. So when we choose to do the right thing, we are really just living out God's word, which is light. So when we bring God's word into the room or we are brave enough or courageous enough to share it, we are truly being the light or bringing the light, which is God in his word. I hope you guys have really enjoyed today's um, story about Esther. I can't wait to go into more detail about it. If you guys make it out to the church this weekend, I would love to see your faces and you can learn some more about Esther. So I also want to share with you guys um, the, the mission for this week, which is just a, a beautiful verse from Matthew, Matthew 5, 14. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. I love this verse, you guys. So I, I tell my, my daughters a lot, you know, would we ever, and this is from scripture that I have found it as well, would you ever turn a light on and put it under a basket or cover up the light? No, you would not. So when we are doing God's work and just sharing that, God wants to just set that light out so people can see the light so it's not hidden and that it just might be sh shared what is going on there. So we are able to do that when we just share the truth with others, even if it means risking getting in trouble or someone being upset with us, doing the right thing is always better than the alternative. It might feel nice or you might be pressured into doing something wrong or maybe not being truthful right away, but I promise you boys and girls, this is not the way to go. God wants us to walk upright, to be accountable for our own actions and to just tell the truth. And we can always tell the truth, even if it is upsetting others, we can tell it by just being kind when we share that truth. We can share it through a loving kindness. You guys, this was a great lesson. I also just want to tell you about the, the mission this week. So these are more things that we're doing. I know before we were doing some worksheets, but this week we are just going to kind of list some ways. We'll talk with mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, aunt or uncle, anyone really. What are some ways that we can show integrity, that we can be truthful, that we do that on a daily basis that we are brave enough to tell the truth for things. And we are also going to maybe jot down some ways that we can do some kindnesses, you know, maybe out in our community or around the house or even at school if we're getting back into school. And then we are also, guys, just going to go ahead and see how can we help someone? How can we do something nice for someone this week? These are all great things we can do for the mission. I hope you guys have learned a lot. I know I sure have, and I'm delighted in being here with you. You guys enjoy the rest of the day and we'll see you later. Bye.